a cute little 200 pound Bernard. Tools are packed from Odorama this weekend. Here we have the uh, how it's been stored. Good motors, some drivetrain. I stripped a lot of stuff out of here for spares for bell spear back in 2018, and kind of buttoned this up and put it in the garage. And I haven't really touched it since. Poor thing, I see a little bit of rust. Yeah, it's still mostly there. A couple of things I want to change for sure. <laughs> Here's the old school reversing solenoids I used to control it. In the front I had uh, Team Delta RC relays and they would click and send power to the relay which would, you know, send power one way or the other. Um, I mean it worked, it worked. Very low tech, a lot of failure points. As you can see these ripped right off the rails that they were bolted to. Well, I, my, uh, Horrible freight switch. Actually, this ended up being uh, end up being I think Hella, actual Hella switch because the uh, Harbor Freight one would lose contact when it was bumped, and that wasn't good. My old gear motor here. I probably leave this structure. This is actually set up pretty nice. I want to narrow this a little bit, so I'm going to cut out this middle, space the motors as close as I can. Uh, I want to go back four-wheel drive. Probably cut out this whole rear end. I probably want to bring it up to about here because I think without all this mess I can fit the batteries and everything else I want right here in this area. Uh, like I said, a lot, of, a lot of figuring to do yet. A lot of stripping. So that's some parts from this, some parts from aggressive, and then some new parts. and uh, Should make me a nice uh, under the basement dozer. All right. So previously I pulled aggressive up, stripped him down. Um, my build style when it's not for the television show is I throw everything I own on the table and hobble it together and think about it and figure out how I want to make it work. So in my standard style of doing things half-assed, I had this nice plate of 316 steel come off of a tractor my buddy bought with a bucket and they had used this as an extension didn't want to use it that way so he took it off so uh, this is the nice scrap piece I have I'm gonna to try to build a bucket out of this and then I'll work backwards from having the bucket and having the robot to making the pieces in the middle to make it all work
might have been putzing around with a piece of steel. Made it uh, 28 inches wide, which is the exact width with the tires. And just made a, the back piece out of the same piece of material. Um, thinking, looking around my shop, looking what I got. I got these bearings. I need some kind of a pin or a pivot wherever this uh, plate winds up mounting. It's an old three quarter inch shaft to work as the mounting pivot point. These bearings, I need some plates. Somehow bolt these into here. Then I'll have to attach from this back to the arm, but we'll come back to that. I gotta finish building out the bucket first. All right, a little more progress on the bucket. Building in these gussets here. Just cut them out of a piece of plate steel I had. I got a little more grinding and fit up to do, and then I'll burn these in. So I've been looking at this box a little more, been looking at the front of the robot and trying to figure out how to hook it up. And I want to use these bearings as a connection point and pivot point. Um, so I decided I didn't like the plate idea, it just seemed too chintzy. Found some nice uh, 2x4 thick walled box tubing, cut to a mount equal length. Got the bearing mounted up and I'm uh, getting ready to do a little drilling. What's little man? Batteries. You need batteries for Lightning McQueen? Yeah. Alright, hold on. Alright, crisis averted. Lightning McQueen is repowered. Pretty good to me. What? Sounds like it's still running.
well roasted. I don't have a drill doctor big enough, nor the intelligence great enough to sharpen that thing on a, on a grinder. Uh, it sounded like McQueen just did something. I regret his giggles and I cries. That poor thing is getting a living heck out of my vehicles. He's a farm boy. He's growing up and stuff. None of my vehicles are nice enough to worry about. Okay, well, let's turn the and all the ones that know what they're doing are shaking their head. Welcome to Half-Ass Fat. 